Hello, Pinups. It's me, Pinup Palmer, and I just came back with my Chipotle. <laughs> I'm back. I know I've been kind of off the grid just a little bit. Sorry, I went to Vegas, been having a really good time with my friends. Got lost a little bit. What happens in Vegas just ends up on my Instagram stories. And if you guys watch that, it was quite a time. And this is what I'm showing you today. This hairstyle, how do I describe it? Is a fake. As you guys know, my hair is probably down to like here. It's not this short. This is a good hairstyle if you haven't washed your hair in a few days, if it's been under a wig, just like mine, or if you're just really lazy and you don't feel like curling the whole entire thing. Let's get started in how I created this illusion. First, you're going to need a one inch curling iron, a hair shark, double-sided, really good for teasing. I suggest it, I'll put the link down below, or just a plain old teasing comb if you want, but I have a hair shark today. <laughs> Some duckbill pins, a whole lot of bobby pins, a blow dryer. Some hairspray. And get whatever this thing is called and cut it in half. If you don't have this thing, do it like me, a good old fashioned wig cap, a big old beanie. If you don't have a beanie, use a clean sock or else your head's gonna smell like feet and put it in the wig cap and then use it as that. So let's get started, shall we? Testing. Okay, so my hair is like really greasy because it's been underneath like a Marilyn wig and everything like that. So here we go. Um, you're gonna wanna make a good clean section, whatever side that you want. I'm actually doing the opposite side today because I feel like it. <laughs> I'm going to divide it into a couple different sections again. So the first one is going to be this. So you're going to take, see where the end is here? Find your ear. Like I always say, always find the tip of your ear. There we go. Go up with it. That's your section. Brush it, twist it, and just get it out of the way for now. All these sections, we're just going to get out of the way, okay? So then you're left with this. All of this that you see here, guys, we're not curling. This is a quick hair for lazy people like me. So my second section will actually be my bang. So I'm gonna go kind of to the center of my forehead here, all the way down from my ear. So it's like I took my ear and I just went like whoop. So about something like that. Take this, cause this will be your bang. All of this that you see, all of that. Not curling today, bitch. No way. Okay, so this is where it gets a little weird. <sighs> I don't know how to describe it to you guys. Now, normally you get those like foam things that are used for like buns and stuff and you cut it and then you can make it. I, of course, don't have mine right now. I have no idea where it is. So this is my alternate that I actually do. I take a beanie, like a typical beanie. I roll it up and I put it in a little hairnet. So it, now it looks like some kind of... And what I like to do with this, because it's something that you can put pins into. This is going to create volume where you don't have volume. <laughs> what does this look like to you? I swear to God, this is a hair tutorial. <laughs> so what you're going to do with this contraption that I have made, you're going to stick it underneath your hair. Like so. And then you're going to pin it in place, okay? So start to take your bobby pins. Okay guys, I totally know my sections just look like crap, but honestly it doesn't matter in this case because everything's gonna get covered. So suck on that, perfectionists. So now you should look like something like that on both ends, okay? Okay, so what I am doing now is I like to under tease and I am folding and tucking my hair underneath that bunt thing that I made. And then I am pinning it with bobby pins on the bottom and I'm trying to make it as voluminous as I could. You can under tease it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just make sure it's pinned all in the bottom. Okay, so once you're kind of happy with somewhat of the shape, take your bobby pins and find where the bump is like the little blunt thing that you put in there and start pinning it down. And you're gonna wanna do this all the way across, okay? Sometimes I just like taking duckbill clips and start clipping the edges down. We're gonna do the same thing 
all around the hair, so find it. So now I'm just putting the duck pill pins all around my hair and I'm putting it at the top of the bunt to create that kind of dome shape. And then once you're happy with it, go ahead and spray it with hairspray and then get a blow dryer and freeze it in place. Some parts you may have to kind of brush out and re kind of arrange, finagle it a bit. It's not gonna be perfect at first. I believe in you guys. So once you're kind of done with the, the bump thing, it's actually time to curl, but we're only gonna curl what we pinned, guys. So let's unleash this first section here. All right, let's get this out of the way and let's just focus on this. And what we're gonna do guys is we're just gonna curl, actually put it inside the barrel, pull the way down. All right. And so when you're done with your curl, it should look something like that. These don't have to be like excessively tight, but if you want them, go ahead. And then I just kind of roll them back up and I pin them for now, just to get them out of my face a little bit. And so maybe you can hold a little bit of a better coral. And we're just gonna do the same thing for the rest of the hair. See you guys later. Fat Tommy's back. If you guys can see him. There he is, struggling. Ruining my pillows day by day. Thanks. Thanks, Tommy. You comfortable? Hope so. You lard. Okay, and we're done with this side pin curling. I'm just gonna spray it. Let that sit there for a bit and we'll take it down layer. And now it's time to do the other side, the big bangs over here. So we're gonna do this kind of in layers a little bit. So I'm just gonna kind of divide it. Take this, get this out of the way. Do the exact same thing what you did on this side to this side, roll it down. Brush it out first. I just take pieces. So get it out of your face. Move on to the next layers. Now you look like something out of Little Women. Roll it up. Make sure you get those ends tucked in. Take a clip. Ta-da. And then move forward. Now with these ones, these last ones here, I actually think I'm gonna change it up a bit. I think we're gonna roll these all backwards. Cause I did like this layer, this layer, but for like the bang itself, I think I'm gonna roll everything backwards on this one. So I'm just gonna take layers like this. Taking the pill. Make sure you get your ends. Roll it on back. Spray it, let it sit for a bit, and then we're gonna take out the curls and then we're gonna mold it into the other creation that we, and we're gonna combine the two together to make one. All right guys, I took out the duckbill clips and now I'm just kind of slightly brushing out my hair and seeing how the mold is. What I like to do is clip it in place and then I under tease the crap out of it. And then I slowly start to mold it into the other layers that I already had, to creating one big bump. When you like it, pin it in place. Pretty much kind of done. Now we're on to kind of like the wave over here. Done. Now that you look like something out of a Cindy Lauper music video, let's take it. Let's start brushing her over. Okay, so I am taking my hair shark and I am gently brushing the teasing that I just did to my hair. And when I like the volume, I like to spray it in place and then use a hair dryer to hold it. 
So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start molding these layers and under teasing. It's gonna be like a process, molding and under teasing, molding and under teasing, it's kind of tedious work. And you're gonna have to really finagle your hair here and see what is kind of working for you and what kind of shape do you wanna create. And once you like it, go ahead and pin it in place, hairspray it, and then keep molding, under teasing until something starts forming that you really dig. And then once you start to kind of see it form, start putting in place and molding it into the other layers that you had. It's going to be hard and it's going to be annoying, but I swear to God, it is so much better than curling all of your hair. Trust me, I know. All right, guys, once you start to see the shape that you kind of like, go ahead and take your hairspray and blow dryer, spray the crap out of your hair. I want your hair to be so hard that if you fell, it should shatter into a thousand pieces like the end of death becomes. <laughs> and then go ahead and freeze it with the blow dryer and set that thing in place. Okay, so I'm gonna start taking out the pins because I think this is the shape that I uh, quite like. And I'm gonna take one little bobby pin. I'm just gonna kind of stick it in there just to kind of hold it. Um, I'm gonna spray the back one more time. Start slowly taking the duckbill pins out. Ta-da! And a good fake. Ta-da! There we go. This is really great if you are in a rush or something in your hair and you haven't washed it. It's just been dirty. This is the easiest thing that I can suggest to you, other than just shoving it in a medium. <laughs> So that's it for me, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning into my own channel. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell to notify yourself that I will be uploading a video every other week or so. And here is my handle for Instagram if you wanna follow me on there and TikTok. I actually have a TikTok now, I know, right? An old geezer like me. I know I was in a kind of a delay because I died and I came back to life. Thanks, Vegas. Anyways, till next time, you guys, I am Pinna Palmer and I'll see you guys later. Bye.